So I've had a lot of people who've been reaching out, um, asking about YouTube, and I've had a lot of people who haven't started a YouTube yet, who've been wanting to for a while, entrepreneurs, people who have businesses on the back end who are trying to build a personal brand on YouTube and monetize it early. And, you know, the reality is you can make $10,000 with only, and honestly, less than 500 subscribers on YouTube. I've seen channels where they have 500 subscribers and they're making like 20, 30, 50 K a month. And they are not reliant on ad revenue. Literally, that's all you need is really up to 500 subscribers. And you can clear this pretty quickly. And I'm going to show you how to do it. This is going to be a very comprehensive. It's going to be high level. There's going to be deeper details that you can tap into um, in my coaching program. Um, if you want to really get into that, again, book the call in the description um, or apply to work with me one on one in the description. And we'll work together and we'll, we'll be able to help you out for your personal thing. But for this video, I want to teach you like how you can actually do this with zero subscribers when you're starting off at zero, right? How do you build up to this? The biggest thing you need to do is stop focusing on ad YouTube monetization. Ad YouTube monetization, YouTube ad monetization is not the way to go. Right? Everyone wants to focus on that. Everybody wants to monetize their YouTube as fast as possible. And they think the best way to do that is to get YouTube ad revenue. I learned this early because I had started other businesses. Um, I had seen other YouTube creators monetize, like Dan Coe, for example, monetize outside of YouTube and make significantly more money. And their videos are worth a lot more, even with less views, even with 100 views, right? They're able to monetize this. With 100 views, you can't monetize with ad revenue, but you can monetize outside of the ad revenue model. And so I'm gonna teach you how to do it. But first, you need to stop focusing on YouTube ad monetization. That's number one. Because the reality is size doesn't matter. <laughs> and I'm not talking about that size. I'm talking about the size of your YouTube channel. See, having a big YouTube doesn't mean that you're going to be making millions. You know, you can be a small YouTuber and be making more money than big YouTubers in your space because you just have a different thought process. You have a different understanding of business models. You have a different understanding of how to convert videos into clients for a business on the back end. See, bigger channels, they tend to be more broad and they target everyone. And that's fine. Right. They have enough view volume and establishment to target everybody and provide and, and actually get money from you know, YouTube ad revenue. And even that might not even be a lot compared to how they could make it with a back end coaching business. Right. So smaller channels have a chance to target their ideal customers and figure out what value they can provide the most before they grow into massive broad channels. You can start off with a specific vehicle that you're going to help people succeed in, ideally make more money in. And you're able to then capitalize on that a lot faster than a bigger YouTube might, YouTuber might be able to, right? Because you're figuring out who your identity is. Biggest thing you have to understand is views ain't cash, man. You, views are not cash whatsoever. See, creators tend to make money on videos with the least amount of views instead of videos that go viral. And that's the reality. And this is outside of the YouTube ad revenue model, right? This is like if you have a business on the back end that you're getting customers from because they use YouTube as a lead generation system. You get crazy views when you go broad, but you get the least amount of views when you go niche. And this is what I've talked about on previous videos. If you want to go watch the playlist, I'll put it below so you can watch the playlist of like how you can actually create content around this. But the reality is my least amount of the videos that do the least amount of views book me the most calls, which then make me the most money, right? Which provides the most value to people. The videos that are niche, they get the least amount of views, but they convert new clients and customers way higher and more efficiently than broad videos, much like the video that I'm creating right now, right? So niche videos educate, nurture, and develop trust with your potential customer, right? Who is in your audience. Greater views, they give you greater reach, right? They equal greater reach, but lesser views actually convert that reach into clients, into money. That's what you're looking for, right? You're looking to be able to service people with money. This is how you're gonna start from absolutely zero. If you don't have a YouTube yet, or maybe you have like zero subscribers, you just got started, you're trying to figure things out, I'm gonna teach you how to do this. Very simple, very efficient, and you're gonna get a lot from this video, right? So step one, you need to have a brand mission and vision, right? So what is the ultimate vision for your channel? Most people don't know when they start YouTube, they don't have a mission in mind. They don't have an actual like vision for where their YouTube channel is going to be. Typically, this mission involves transforming the world or even just a select group of people that you want to target in a specific way. Right. So make this vision as massive as possible. Make this mission as big as possible. It should almost feel impossible to achieve. Because this is what your, your, your channel is going to develop into 
on the long term. See, people with the smallest missions or the smallest visions, like, hey, I want to help people make $10,000 a month. That's not a mission, right? That's almost like a milestone. You want a big mission. You want to be able to, for example, for me, I want to give men freedom. I want to give men the opportunity to become online entrepreneurs and actually transform their life, get location freedom, time freedom, and financial freedom. I want to help men become the best versions of themselves, physically, mentally, financially, spiritually, socially, everything, right? That is my big mission. This is very hard to do, but that is the mission that I'm going after, right? That's going to help you actually be able to stay consistent with your channel and you won't be complacent when you hit specific milestones. So how do you envision your channel to evolve over time, right? What, what do you want to ultimately be when you get big on YouTube? What is that? Do you want to have a big podcast, right? That you can, you can impact millions of people through, conversa people through conversations that you're going to have with different, different personas, different, different brands, right? Step two, you need a unique mechanism. So what skill or niche are you going to use to elevate people to that big vision and mission? This is another critical piece that most people don't think about when they're starting YouTube. Make this as specific as possible. Don't say, hey, I want to um, do self-improvement or I want to help people make money. That's way too broad. You want to be very specific with the skill set that you know. Go deeper, right? So for me, it's personal brand building for freedom. That's my unique mechanism. It's very unique. It's very broad as well, or it's very niche, right? It's not just making money online. It's helping people build profitable personal brands, right? As, as, any, any entrepreneur that wants to do that. For example, another one could be writing with clarity of thought and con for content creation, right? That's another one. That's something that, for example, Dan Coe, his unique mechanism is writing, persuasive writing. And that's what he's teaching people, right? Biohacking for optimal health if you're into fitness. That's something that's specific within the fitness niche that you've mastered that you're going to now help other people. Because what you're going to do is you're going to give that unique mechanism a unique name, repackage it as a concept and make it more appealing and less boring, right? That's gonna be the specific. You have to have a unique mechanism. Most people don't have a unique mechanism. They go after it and say, I wanna do self-improvement. I wanna do, you know, I just wanna help people make more money. And they become so broad that people don't feel like you're actually solving the problem. You're not teaching them something new and shifting their paradigm on what vehicle they want to use to be able to gain financial freedom or gain um, gain the physique that they want, right? So you want to make that unique mechanism extremely specific. Step three, find your three content pillars. So what are the three niches you can forever talk about? See, when you're building this personal brand, you're going to talk about whatever you want to talk about, whether it's relationships, whether it's wealth, whether it's health, whatever it is that people are looking at, you're going to talk about these things, but you want to be able to talk about these things within these three content pillars. So for example, could be mindset, fitness, and entrepreneurship. You can have three different content pillars that you're endlessly creating content around. You have to find the three things that you can talk about forever, the three things that will forever interest you, right? And they can be kind of broad, but they also have to be slightly niche, right? And these content pillars are going to be under an umbrella of a broader topic. So for example, men's self-improvement, right? So men's self-improvement can be the big umbrella and you'll have these three content pillars in between it. Or for example, it can be becoming an entre entrepreneur and it can be fitness. It can be um, Facebook ads or it can be um, tech, right? It can be all three of those. And you can talk about those three within that umbrella, right? You should always include your unique mechanism as one of the pillars that you'll speak about. That's another secret that you need to understand. So if it's going to be writing, writing needs to be one of those content pillars. For me, personal brand building is going to be one of my content pillars that I talk about, is one of my content pillars that I talk about. But I also talk about other things, right? I also talk about uh, masculine self-improvement. I also talk about, you know, self-image reconstruction, right? So those are the three niches or the three pillars that I talk about the most. Next, you need to find your target audience, right? This is very crucial. Too many people, they, they talk to everybody, but then in marketing, when you talk to everybody, you talk to nobody. When you talk to one person, you have the opportunity to talk to everybody because everyone might be able to relate to that one person, but that one person will always feel like you're speaking to them. This is the key for why my content hits so well, because I'm talking to one specific person, a man at the age, between the ages of 25 and 36, right? And has specific problems that they have. So you have to find their age range. You have to find their gender. You have to find their interests, their aspirations, their fears, 
the commonalities of their life experience, because that's what you're going to address and many, many other things as well. Right. So that way you can target the right person. Step five is building an irresistible offer. This is what most channels don't have. Right. Most channels are going for ad revenue. I told you this in the beginning. And most people come to me and they're like, I want to monetize my YouTube as fast as possible. I'm like, you know, you're going to be making like a dollar a month or a dollar a year if you're trying to monetize your, your, your YouTube channel. And it's going to be very, very slow. You're not going to you're not going to see progress. And the thing with YouTube is you want to be able to seamlessly monetize, obviously monetize by providing value. This is what I'm saying. I don't like working with people who are entertainers. I don't like working with people who don't have a tangible skill set that they want to teach other people because you're not going to be able to monetize properly. You're going to rely on sponsorships and 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 ad revenue and sponsorships don't pay a lot. I make a lot more money with my coaching program that you can create for yourself with whatever skill set that you've mastered. Right. But I monetize better with the, the, the business, the coaching business I have on the back end, rather than a company paying me $50 a video. I've had massive companies say, hey, we'll pay you $50 a video to advertise this product. And it's like, wait, I make like a thousand times more than that with just one video. And you're asking me for one one thousandth of that as compensation doesn't make sense. Right. So you want to make sure that you can build an irresistible offer. Your offer is going to provide value to your audience, right? It should be a coaching program or mentorship in whatever it is that you like, or it can be an agency if you're a business owner that you can plug in that you're basically getting high, high business clients to be able to fulfill their services. You have to think about YouTube as a funnel, a marketing funnel. YouTube is getting you leads. That's what most people don't understand. YouTube is a business. It's an ethical business if you do it correctly. A lot of people, they're, they're these gurus, right? So they're not actually providing value on the back end but they're trying to sell people. So it's not ethical. You want to make this as ethical as possible. Do things that you actually know. Ideally, you're helping your old self elevate to new heights in the vertical that you've excelled in. So if you're an entrepreneur that's making $100,000 a month, even $10,000 a month, right? You are now a few steps ahead and you can teach your old self before you started making that money on how you got to that point. And people are going to want that. You're targeting millions of people overall, right? So they're gonna to want to be able to work with someone who's a few steps ahead. People don't wanna work with people who are 100 steps ahead, people who are smart, because they understand that the person who's 100 steps ahead is completely disassociated with the current times of what's going on with the industry that they're in. They wanna work with someone who's on the ground floor, who's on the front lines that are actually seeing the trends and are actually dynamically changing so that they can get a lot more value. Right. You should be teaching people a new skill set that can make them more money. That's ideal. More people will pay you more money if you're helping them make more money. People are willing to pay you basically a discount of what they're looking to make if you can help them make that. So if you're helping people get make their first ten thousand dollars, for example, this video, you can charge two to five thousand dollars to help someone make ten because now they're either doubling or they're they're five xing the money that they're paying you. They look at it as an investment, not a cost. Right. That's another thing you have to understand. So this will make every video worth way more to you than ad revenue. Ad revenue doesn't mean anything. Right. It's just icing on the cake. I make ad revenue, but it doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean it's the focus of a business that I have. YouTube as a business means that you make a business outside of YouTube and you're pulling people into that business. Right. Step six. Very simple. Right. You need to offer free calls once you've figured all of this stuff out. Every YouTube creator leads with paid calls as their business model for some reason. Not every single one, but most of them do. And this is an error because now you're, you're charging based on your time. You're charging literally based on your time. So you have to figure out how much your time is worth. And typically you're going to be under charging because your time should be worth more if the skill set that you know is valuable. Right. So you don't want to lead with pay, pay, paid calls. You want to lead with free calls. And those free calls tend to lead to more money because you're providing value on those calls. You're shifting paradigms on those calls and people are going to want to work with you more. Right. And this limits you from getting paid for your time rather than your value. You want to get paid on the value that you're providing, not just the time that you spend with the person for an hour, because honestly, you're not going to solve everyone's problem, everyone's specific problem that you want to solve in one hour of your time. So this is where I see a lot of people who are getting on YouTube messing up a lot of even like like self-improvement like channels. All they do is they provide like paid calls. And I'm like, man, you're leaving a lot of money on the table. What if you started a mentorship? Because people will pay for proximity of you. Right. Especially as you grow, people want to be close to you. People want to have like one on one bespoke help with their problems. Right. 
but you also have to learn your audience and speak to them to figure out what problems you can solve for them. This is why these free calls are important. You're, you're discovering the, the real problem that you should be solving that's repeatable for everybody. This will help you sell a lot more and this will help you solve the problem at a bigger scale. So on this call, you want to pitch them your service and give them the opportunity to work with you. This is a different paradigm shift. A lot of people are scared to sell because honestly, they don't believe in their service. They don't believe people should pay them money. But once you understand that you're giving them an opportunity to work with you, you're not just like hard selling them. I don't hard sell anybody. Anybody who's gotten on a call with me, like I give them the option. I'm like, hey, like if I have to change their belief for some objections that they have, maybe they're like, hey, I, I have to think about this. I'm like, what do you have to think about? What haven't I clarified? Right. You can start to work with people to be able to change their belief system. But at the end of the day, these free calls will help you a lot because you're, you're literally giving people opportunities to work with you. And that's the best value you can give to people for free. Right. So that's that. And as you build your clientele, you're going to improve your service and keep booking calls. Right. Every video you put out, you're going to be booking calls. You're going to be especially if you do it the right way, if you do the content system the right way. And I have all of this structured in my coaching program, my mentorship program. I help you with that. Right. And, and don't be afraid to give people opportunities to work with you in your videos. Say, hey, look, I'm offering calls to be able to help to be able to work with me in my coaching program. There's nothing wrong with that, especially when you've mastered the thing that you're trying to help people with because you're providing them with significant value. So you have to understand this concept and you have to accept the fact that this is the best way that you're going to monetize YouTube. This is this structure. This six step system is going to help you literally monetize YouTube at its maximum point as early as possible, as early as 100 subscribers even. Because you also have to think about this. People, if you get one video that does 100 views, think about it as a room of 100 people and you need one of those people to like you and wanna work with you. That's it. That's why views don't matter. That's why what matters is your offer, what you're providing to people. What matters is the call to action. What matters is the free calls that you're doing. You're giving people more opportunities to see you, to talk to you, to trust you, to work with you, right? This is what's going to help you. And I promise you, it's going to work. Now, this is very high level. If you want to get into specifics, tap the link in the description and apply to work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I only want to work with value creators. I don't want to work with entertainers. If you are an entrepreneur or an aspiring entrepreneur for a specific skill set or service, I can help you, right? I've done it and I'm helping other people do it. I'm taking probably another five guys before I close this down for a little bit, just so I can work with people one on one. And I don't want to scale this too much because I really want to have that one on one support. I want to be able to be with people during their journey. This is a very intimate experience. This is a very unique experience. And honestly, this is something that once you've learned it, once you've hit the ground running, you're going to excel beyond your wildest dreams. Right. So I, I hope you guys got some value from this. This is something that I've wanted to put out for a little while now. This is going to be I'm going to have a playlist of these types of videos so you can watch them, so you can digest them, so you can start implementing them for free before you even want to book. A, if you don't want one on one help right now and you want to just get started on your own, I don't highly recommend this because you're going to struggle a lot. You're going to get frustrated and you're going to quit. But if you want that accountability, if you want that help, that one on one help specifically for your offer that you want to create, your channel that you want to create. Again, link is in the description. Apply to work with me one on one. Right. Again, this is going to be a call where we qualify to see if it makes sense to work with each other. And if it makes sense to work with each other, we will start working with each other. Handle all of your objections right now. Right. Don't think. Think about it now before you book the call. Think about it. Ask if, if you have a significant other, tell the significant other what you want to do and get on the call and get it done. That's what I like. Urgency. Get to it. That's my that's my whole vision. Y'all know me. I get to it straight to the point. So again, I appreciate you guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you found some value in this. Ask me more questions around what you want to learn about the personal branding so I can create content around it for you, kind of like this, to, to freely educate you. And continue to keep watching, man. This is going to be exciting. Subscribe, of course. Um, sign up to the free email newsletter. Um, add the www dot before it, for sure, if you're typing it in and you're not clicking the link because for some reason my, my newsletter site is kind of like messed up a little bit. But tap in and just it, i download my consciousness into your inbox every, almost every day i just put out my first email right now to over a thousand people so be a part of that thousand people and get the value from me get as much value from me as possible all right so i appreciate y'all and i'm gonna catch you on the next video